Here's another example of what happens if you listen to lefties and your entire understanding of law and order is I'm going to fight cops. I'm going to punch a cop. I'm going to grab their gun or I'm going to run from them. And then being surprised when shit happens. Now there'll be a bunch of dumb fuckers going, oh my God, what, you think all cops are good? Oh, all co no, I don't think all cops are good. And I don't think all cops are bastards, right? I think it's a profession and it's full of good people and shitty people. And in left-wing run shitholes, it's going to be predominantly full of shitty people because you're washing out all the good people. You made this fucking job impossible. And so now, and it's always surprising to me that you fucking lefties are the ones who want to set up these parameters for law enforcement where you're only going to get shitty fucking cops at this point because no good cop... If this dude was black who got ran over after being tased on the freeway, if this dude was black, they'd burn this fucking place down and they would arrest the cop. So no reasonable cop is going, no good person is going to be a cop at this fucking point. And you guys set this up, which is fascinating because you also want to disarm everybody. So I imagine you're disarmed. I ain't disarmed. No, no, no. When when this lawlessness comes to my fucking door, I'm going to blast you right in your stupid fucking face. I ain't giving up my guns. And I am not going to succumb to the leftist mentality of these shit whole cities and hellscapes that you're creating by turning off law and order. If you get pulled over by a cop, pull out a phone, park under a security camera that you can get later on. Yeah, you need to take care of yourself. You need to protect yourself. Running away from cops, fighting cops is the best way to get fucked up. Whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're gay, whether you're straight. And this dude found out. So he gets pulled over by the cops, gives them the wrong name. I'm Todd Jones. And the cop goes, I know you ain't Todd Jones, Brent. And Brent goes, oh. Well, then I'm going to run away from you. D okay. All right. He goes, he's doing the lefty calculus. He's sitting there going, well, I'm white. So I probably can't get away with fighting you. So I'm just going to run away from you. That sounds weird. <laughs> when you think a black person is going to over. I, I think in Democrat run shitholes, black people are feeling emboldened to fight cops because lefties will burn a place down if you shoot a person, a black person who's fighting cops. It's fucking insane. It's a crazy fucking plan we live on. But the dude says, "Ah, now I'm going to run. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take the risk and uh, you know that I'm not Todd Jones. So then I'm definitely going to prison. You're under arrest." Nope. So now he's run across what looks like to be an off ramp. And the cop is sitting there going, well, I better do something. I don't know what this fucking woman did. He's crazy. Because <laughs> this is a dumb fucking move. He tases. The, he jumps onto a freeway. The cop then hits him with a taser. Boom. And that car can't stop in time. <laughs> I can, though. Because holy shit. I don't have any, this is nothing to for me today. That cop is going to kill that dude. Or that cop. Well, that car is going to kill that dude. That dude killed himself. And I felt real bad for the person driving. Could you imagine driving that car? Could you imagine you're coming home after a long day, hard day's night, boys? Maybe listening to some fucking call me Beatles on the radio. <laughs> what the fuck is the radio? And some dipshit thought it would be a good idea to lie to the cops, run away from the cops, get his ass fucking tased on the freeway, and now you're going to get run. Now, a bunch of people are sitting there in the comment section going, well, why did he tase him? Why, why, did, why did he tase him? That is a lot of hindsight. You're a cop, right? You're always a split second away from being shot by one of these lunatics. Well, they patted him down, and he was just running from him. They should have let him go. Okay, here's the thing, you lefty tards. If you set up the rules of engagement for a society, that law and order has to cease once a person starts running away from it, then you're only going to get more and more emboldened criminals. That's going to make criminality worse. People are going to feel like, well, maybe I'll just carjack. Maybe I'll rape. Maybe I'll rob. Maybe I'll burglar. Rape. Maybe I'll do whatever the fuck I want because all I got to do is run away from the cops and they got to stop. <laughs> dude, gee, gee, what, could, what could possibly happen? No, don't run away from the fucking cops, right? And you won't get fucking tased. And it's not up to the cops. It's not up to the person running uh, after you for them to sit there and, and calculate everything. The cop is sitting there going, I don't know what this fucking lunatic is going to do. I don't know if he's going to, I don't know if he's going to run to the freeway. Stop a car, carjack somebody, throw that person out. Maybe, maybe, maybe he runs to the freeway trying to escape from the cop, flags down a car, throws that person out of the car, and somebody runs that person over. Is that what you want? If we're doing hindsight and we're fucking guessing, 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 then th that could happen. 
There's an infinite amount of permutations and combinations that could arise from this situation. But here's what I do know. A bunch of motherfuckers in a society understanding that if you're being illegally arrested or illegally detained, then you've got way, way better odds if you're recording it. If we if we make sure and demand that every cop's got a fucking body camera on them, every cop car's got a camera on them, and if those accidentally get deleted or those accidentally weren't turned on, then you fucking walk in front. I think that's a way better situation. Way better situation. Then let's just let motherfuckers run away, and the minute they run away from cops, the, the cop needs to stand down. You can see it in Seattle. This is a, so in Seattle they can't ch cops aren't allowed to do anything in Seattle, and so so now people are they're doing these sideshows where they're just burning out in the middle of these intersections, and when the cops show up, everybody just jumps on the cop, cop car and they start fucking twerking, and the cop can't do anything. These these cars are are chasing down cop cars, circling around them, doing burnouts in front of them making fun of them, mocking them openly, recording it for TikTok, and the cop has to sit there and take it. Can't arrest any of these fucking people. It's, that, it's Mad Max level shit. They turned off on order. And that dude right there found out that uh, you can't always bank on law and order being turned off. So dude gets pulled over, gives a fake fucking name to the cops, ends up getting arrested, runs from the cops, gets tased on the freeway, gets run over and killed, and everybody on the left-hand side were like, fuck, man, I wish he was black because I wanted to go burn down Seattle and get some free fucking Nikes. <laughs> Stupid. I right, guess thanks so much for watching. <laughs> if you, I don't think you want to be kept up to date with people being run over, but if you do, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.